Welcome to the Bridge, a concept-based design that uses three separated bunker bases connected via passageways on multiple levels. It comes with disconnectable anti-siege turret pods that prevent TC placement in the case of a raid. The three connecting bridge sections come with turret pods, peaks and a central ring which uses wide gaps. This is reflected on the lower level which is also equipped with roof ramp peaks. The ground passageways come with an airlocked entrance, patrico peaks, farm space and vending machine. The bridge sections come with a bedroom for great peaking, flanking and retake opportunities. Ramp peak downs are also used for watching door raids or looking back into each base. Pair this with three spacious bunkered interiors on each side, the bridge might be the base for you. Before we get into the tour, I'd like to quickly apologise for the later upload. This is due to PC hardware issues, I am upgrading in time for next video, along with the new mic setup to improve the quality of my videos. If you do like what you see at any point, please consider liking and subscribing down below, it is greatly appreciated. We start off the tour showing off these turret pods, these will be activated using heartbeat sensors to watch either side of the bases. As you can see, the angles are quite decent that they achieve. These turret pods also act as anti-siege disconnectables. In the case of a raid on the left-hand side, this right-hand side base will cover the TC. This will prevent any TC placement. It can be disconnected as shown, which will allow you to place a TC on the left-hand side in case you need to replace it. It can be reconnected as shown. We now enter one of the bridge passageways. There are six entrances into this base, they are all airlocked using double doors. Entering the ring on the ground floor, we have these nice ramp peaks that use horizontal embrasures to gain a wide range of angles, as well as wide gap peaks above to watch back at our base. This base is symmetrical by three, so all angles can be found on all sides. This double door can be closed to use the wide gap as a peek into the compound if you were to have one. Heading down one of the passageways, we have a farm area using a planter box. These can also be used to achieve amazing angles through these Pachuco peaks, allowing you to crouch and shoot at the same time. There is optional space for a vending machine on each side, as well as space for a locker. We start to enter one of the bases through this airlock's entrance that is watched by a roof ramp peak above. Now we enter the second floor. Here you will find space for a research table, secondary loot room and workbenches. Dropping down, we enter our bunkered core. There is space here for many deployables, it is up to you what you place here. Here is the upkeep of each external TC, there are only three of them on this base. We can seal the bunker as shown by placing this roof ramp and upgrading to metal. We then simply hatch it out this wooden foundation. This must be upgraded to wood, otherwise it can be splashed through the walls. To get back up, we can place a twig staircase as shown. The door will block this, so you'll have to replace this every time. Or you can simply place a furnace or even a ladder hatch. We now enter the third floor, which gives us access to the roof. You will find space here for more deployables and storage space, as well as one of the six main bedrooms. You should split all the medium batteries between each base. These Patrico window peaks allow us to get some amazing head glitch angles across to the other side of the compound and other bases. We also have a decent vertical angle that can allow us to watch back at our base. This is of course repeated on the other side. Now we enter the bridge. Here we find a peak down that can be used to look back into our base in case the core is already breached, or to watch door raids. We now use a staircase to hold the roof ramp behind, as well as gain some great angles outside the base. These include both long and vertical angles. These horizontal embrasures give us some decent peaks to fight raid bases. As you have probably already seen, we find one of our six main bedroom areas that come with some decent Patrico peaks back at our base as well as down into the compound if you were to have one. Now we enter the final part of the bridge. This is watched by a turret pod behind chain link. Now we have some simple window peaks. Feel free to change these however you like, whether you want windows, glass or four walls is totally up to you. 
Now we enter the final central ring. This connects all the bridges and the bases together. Here you'll find some amazing wide gaps that can give you some great vertical and long angles from each side of the base. This area is also protected by garage door rollers as well as the roof ramps above to prevent raiders from camping you from above. There is space on each side for a windmill as well as honeycomb above the roof. Before you decide on your build spot, you must make sure that you have a very large flat area that you can build this base. You want to start off by placing this square to claim your build spot. You will effectively use one of the three bases as your starter. You can now expand it for some more space for some deployables. You can add a half height wall inside the TC room for added storage. This is your very simple starter core. Now I would recommend at this point that you expand and place your other TCs for your other bases. This will prevent anyone from griefing your build spot. You must build out by 5 squares then cap off with a triangle. You want to build off the right hand side of this triangle by placing these two triangles. You can upgrade the outer one and the first one you place to metal as well as all the square foundations. You should be left with something like this. Now simply wide gap this by placing two squares and cap off with a triangle. Place a half moon and then delete the original triangle. You should be left with this, then you can build off either side, upgrading to metal. It should look like something like this. You can then repeat this wide gap method on the other side. This is what it should look like. Of course these triangle foundations will be decaying at this point. Each base will come off these squares that I've placed. You want to then build back by 5 squares and then place the final 2 triangles and 1 square foundation for your TC room. At this stage you can simply wall it in and place your TC. and then repeat this on the other side. I would recommend upgrading these foundations and not leaving them as twig. This is what it should look like. Now we will expand our starter core. I will show you how to expand one base first, then you can simply rewatch the video and repeat it on the other two sides. You must make sure that you upgrade this square foundation to wood and no further, this will be your bunker. Then place a raised triangle foundation, this must be also upgraded to high quality metal. As previously mentioned, you can get up using a twig staircase or furnaces. Now we will expand the second floor, like so. Make sure not to wall in the top, this will be your jump up later. On the right hand side, this is your secondary loot room, you should also add ramps to increase the raid cost. Complete your jump up to your third level like so. You should also add a shelf at this point for more storage.
now we will add some honeycomb onto each side of the base. Make sure with your entrance that you do not wall in the top. This will be due to the ramp peak down. You can place this staircase or a deployable to get back into your base. You can wall in each side, then add a frame and then a floor behind it. You can then add a staircase behind it. This will give stability to the ramp. On one of the sides you can place this half height floor to help you place the inner floor. You will need to place this from the single door. Then add a raised ramp like so and then demolish the floor. You can leave it like this for a while if you would like. Now we will complete the third floor to add our bedroom area and some Patrico peaks. Now we will do some honeycomb. Make sure on the back side of this triangle that you add a half height wall and window frame on top. Then of course repeat this on the other side. Now simply honeycomb the base. After adding these low walls and triangle roofs, you can then go ahead and honeycomb the roof. That is one of the three bases complete. You must now repeat this on the other two sides following the same steps. I will fast forward this part of the build. Once you have made three identical bases on each side, you can then expand the passageway like so. You can place two for walls, or if you want a vending machine, make sure to place a doorway. Follow it up with a window, and then another single door. This will be your airlocked entrance. Now for your lower inner ring, you can add frames to each of these triangles. On each of the outer triangles you can add a window and then a ramp. Now you can of course seal in the top of your passageway. On each side of these horizontal embrasures you will add your Patrico peaks. You do this by placing a square foundation and then a half wall, followed by a floor. I would recommend upgrading these to metal, as this supports the upper shooting floor as well. Then you can add a raised ramp, this must be stone for it to work and cover your head.
before repeating on each side, you must of course add the doorways. I recommend these two double doors to open outwards to airlock the entrance. Then you can add a large planter in this orientation as shown. Now once again repeat on the other two sides. I will skip this for the simplicity of the build video. Now expand like so, adding double door frames here. Your inner ring frame should look like this. Simply place floors and then upgrade to metal. I recommend placing full walls here and upgrading them to metal. You want to add double door frames on one side and then repeat that on all three sides. These will act as your double door airlocks to cover the wide gaps. These should all open outwards. Instead of sealing it like below, you must place the floors in this orientation. This will reduce the gap from above into the shooting floor. Then on the middle frames you can place a garage door. Make sure that the roller is facing outwards to cover the gap. Then you can place triangle roofs like so. Sometimes placement of this can be a little bit awkward. Once again, I will expand the bridge on only one side. This is completely symmetrical on all three sides, so you can simply rewind the video and watch again for each side. You want to expand by placing the frames as shown and then the full wall in metal. Cover each side with a window frame, this will be our bedroom. wall in the entrance side and then upgrade to metal. On the remaining gap next to the staircase you should place half walls and then window frames on top. You can place a half height floor here to help place the turret pod. Build up by two frames and then place another floor to create a Patrico Peak. You will of course want to cover this with another stone ramp. Repeat on the other side. As previously mentioned in the tour, you can change this configuration to how you'd like. This is only my recommended configuration. Feel free to replace the window frames with full walls or full walls with window frames. Of course, go ahead and add the window embrasures. We will place the beds to allow us to crouch and use the peaks. We can also place large boxes to allow us to crouch and use these peaks too in the shooting floor. On each side, you can place a windmill. 
Now you should repeat this on the other two sides. You should be left with a base like this. Now we will do our disconnectable anti-siege turret pods. On the right hand side as you look at it, which is the TC side of each base, you want to expand by these triangles. Place four, then place your final two. Upgrade these final two to metal, then delete the four build out. You want to also place a triangle off the right of this first foundation. You should be left with this. Then place a frame on the back side of that triangle foundation. Then make sure to place two half walls, this will allow the disconnectable to work. You can then place a full wall on the left hand side and then add the frames for your doors. Then connect it to the TC by using these frames. Now you can expand by these triangle foundations to extend your privilege. Then you should add frames to make sure that it doesn't decay. You can also build up by two to extend the privilege up the other side of the base. This is what it should look like. Now you can repeat this on the other two sides. Now that the base is pretty much complete, I will run through some deployables shortly followed by recommended upgrades. Here are some of the recommended upgrades that you should do. Of course you should repeat this on the other two bases as well. And that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please consider joining the Discord community down in the description below. As always, thank you very much for watching.